Warning, the following contains actions performed by idiots. What you're about to view should not be taken as factual or educational. For further questions, please refer to your Google. doing stuff with the radiator, right? Um, I was seriously contemplating cutting the headlights that I bought in half instead of purging them out to make the radiator fit. I thought that might look kind of weird and retro. And uh, I want to show you how sick these are. These are genuine eBay. Uh, you got these little basically blinkers, I'm assuming, or like daytime running light situations. You got the brights right in the middle and then low beam. And uh, they are freaking bright. It's going to be out of focus, but the beam that this creates is pretty ridiculous. Oh, I lost my, I lost my power. They're directional. Do you see that? It's freaking cool. So with that being said, I don't really want to cut that in half. <laughs> Son of a turd muffin. So I made that little straight bar, right? 
and I didn't even think about this being here. Well, I knew this was here, but whatever. I screwed up. The bar that I made was sitting on that bar, which had the radiator sitting up here. So what I've had to do is now this conjamble that I'm getting ready to weld. Luckily, the spacing for this when I cut these is exactly two cardboard thick. So I'm going to weld that up, uh, and then we're going to run... Uh, some supports to the top of these side brackets and really get this nice and strong and then we'll focus on where it's gonna mount and how it's gonna get there because I don't really know what we're doing yet so cue the welding videos Clears very well, kind of hard to see, but you get the point. Um, something I want to talk about real quick, real fast, really excited about the headlights. This is going to be flat against the back of this, right? I'm just, I just decided we're going to do that and I'm going to roll with it. Now, the grill is tilted back, so that's going to pose an issue for the headlights pointing straight to the owls that are flying at night. Uh, so I'm going to cut out a metal plate that's going to block this whole thing off, do some things, and then these headlights that you saw the way they mount on the back you just got two holes there so it can literally pivot up and down so sorry if the camera's out of focus i'm going to make a plate that's going to bolt to this and then build some little hangers or something that that's going to bolt to and then we can literally tilt it on demand i'm super excited so anyways okay so that fits going to take it out weld that and then we're going to add supports to carry it up to here and then the the idea is uh, somewhere right in here, I'm going to weld something that this can all slide into and it'll take all the weight up. So I don't really know what that's going to be yet, but that's, that's the gist of it. So more welding. Boys and girls, the radiator mount is uh, just about wrapped up. So what I'm gonna do now is take this and cut it in half. Use this as basically a big fat C channel. Weld this to the side of the frame right here and then weld a, where to go? I just had it, which means it could be anywhere. Then I'm gonna take this and cut the appropriate width out and then weld sections of this onto the side of that and it will drop right into that like a little hook kind of like the mount we made on the rear to support the bed so this will just slide right down in it that'll do the job as simple of a task as this was it's uh when it's out i mean you saw some clips of it but <laughs> i'm getting tired of body swapping cars there's so much extra stuff involved that uh, you just don't plan for so next round we'll probably uh just motor swap a car which I have the motor for right behind this piece of metal. It's right, oh, you can't see it. Oh, you wanna see it? It's right, yeah, oh, you can't.
Here's a new 10 second segment I'm gonna add to the channel called Lies to Make You Feel Better, starring me. Your project car is going to be fast. Thank you for watching Lies to Make You Feel Better. Wow. I may have made the fitment a little bit too good. It's like the metal shrunk. I guess I'd rather have it too tight than too loose. Yeehaw! So literally just cut that square tube in half, lined up that angle iron, drilled matching holes, and voila. Uh, these just slide in and then welded a nut on the back side, so I'm going to weld just this underneath here, and uh, it's done. That's it. Then we got to find hoses. I'm going to do that tomorrow. That bottom one's going to be tight, but I made sure there's enough room, um, so we should be good, and I'll show you how mounted this is. It's, it's like a brick wall, it's fantastic. Yes, I'm well aware I'm welding on top of cardboard. If you don't like it, comment or tell your mom about it. This is tight. <laughs> they have to go in perfectly. Um, I'm gonna bend the tabs because this is not gonna... This is not gonna fly. I'll be back with you in a moment. The good news is these tabs are really thick and they don't bend. The bad news is these tabs aren't bending. <sighs> More bending is required. <laughs> this radiator, once in place, will never fall. Oh yeah! Okay, now let's see if the bolts go back in now that I've bent the tabs. No! No, 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 no! It's okay, I just want to put you inside of a nut. We have entered the nut. We are currently screwing into the nut. Yes, 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 go on, yes, no, stop it. You know you want it. Take it like a man and go inside of your nut. Let me tighten everything and I will show you how those little mounts could, in theory, support a small house. Not the prettiest, but we got some big old fat boys up top holding that little tab on there. It is impressively solid. I mean, like the whole, I could pull, I could literally pull the car by the radiator mount, which is probably like, you know, normal. That's probably like what it should be, but uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Look at that, boys. In the time it took to download what you just watched onto my phone, I cleaned up my mess. Right? That's been a complaint. The shop's always been messy. Did not end up using this, although I know a lot of you guys uh, used to tell me cardboard aided design, so I tried. It, it, I don't know. Okay, so got the Jeep radiator crossed off. I cannot show you what's behind the tape because that's what the motor is. Uh, so next on the list, intercooler pipes, the windshield, uh, I got blow off valve on order for that and the bug. Uh, so bug, intercooler pipes, bug wastegate, still have to order that. I'm going to make the turbo mount pretty on the bug. I'm actually really excited for that. And then we're going to do, I think I'm going to jump into the headlights and the windshield next on here and the intercooler piping. I'm going to do that intercooler piping and the bugs intercooler piping at in the same time because I got to cut it all up, mock it up, and then my friend Max is going to, uh, well, he's going to come by and actually help me cut it all and kind of map it out and then he's going to weld it up for me. Um, so let's see, on this schedule, let's see, so for the Jeep intercooler piping, finish the windshield, install fuel system, quick tune, drive it, uh, MR2, we got to shove the axle in, downpipe, wastegate, dump tube, Honda data, injectors, maybe, drive. Um, so that's kind of the, the plan. I'm starting to write stuff down, keep track of what we're doing. So we were able to cross the Jeep radiator off of both lists. So that's cool. Step forward. I have an outstanding headache. <laughs> so we're going to call it there. Um, I got tons of hoses, so we'll just pick two and it'll fit and that's no big deal. So I have all the fuel fittings. Uh, that was 330 something dollars. But So we literally have every single component for the fuel system now. We just have to put the fittings on the line we got enough to tackle i've got a good list going i've got you know i'm kind of starting to prioritize things and really actually get stuff done step by step um so 
Cool, we're moving in the right direction. Radiator's mounted, intercooled, you went over all that. Um, next video might be of the bug. I might do that, uh, I might start on the exhaust and um, the turbo mount just kind of depends on what what I get done. If you guys have any ideas for uh, basically a metal circle, so I don't have to cut out a metal circle out of decently thick steel, uh, let me know. So I made a side channel called The Oil Leak. Uh, YouTube just launched their, sh or they're launching their shorts to compete with TikTok. So I'm like, cool, I got nothing to lose. So basically right now all I'm doing on that channel is using that as to, to give you guys like 60 second teaser trailers, basically building to the Garage Idiot channel. Um, in the future, it's gonna be whatever I want. If I wanna be goofy and stupid and do my corny, cringy humor, I'm gonna do it on there, not here. I don't wanna tarnish. I want this channel to be about the cars. If, if you wanna go check it out, cool. If it's not your style, no big deal. Uh, so you saw the list, you saw, I'm, I'm in a little bit better mood. Um, I realized that if I want this YouTube dream, if I want my financial goals, if I want all that to happen, I don't have time to sit around feeling sorry for myself. I don't have time to care about what other people think. Um, I mean, th this is kind of the mindset I had when I started my hydro dipping business. I was out to prove everyone wrong. I was out to prove everyone. I was out to prove to everyone that I could do it. So that's that's where I'm at now. I'm feeling really optimistic. I have a, I mean, writing stuff down has been huge. I really feel like I know what and how and when all this is going to happen. So um, I'm spending as much money as I possibly can with Christmas around the corner. That's kind of, you know, it's going to put a tight hold on that. Um, but we're, we're moving. There's a lot of things I can do again with the list. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I realize now I can do for basically no money while money is short, but we're, we're continuously moving in that direction. So I've been trying to, uh, you know, do different camera angles and make these videos a lot easier and more engaging, uh, to watch. So if that's working, let me know if there's more I can add to it, please tell me. That's all I got for you. Um, like comment, subscribe, vlog, all that crap. And, uh, We'll see you next week. If you're on the other channel, I will see you every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week.